everyone. It's Miss Adams here. I was just getting ready for bed and I thought I would read you a story tonight that I just read to my kids. I don't know about you, but we're having to do a lot of sharing in our house. We're having to think about others and make sure we practice a little patience. So tonight we read, should I share my ice cream? We love elephant and piggy books. And I think this one has a good lesson during this time. Should I Share My Ice Cream by Mo Willems. Ice cream, get your cold ice cream for a hot day. Oh boy, ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. Oh boy, oh boy, I love ice cream. Wait, Piggy loves ice cream too. Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? Should I share my awesome, yummy, sweet, super great, tasty, nice, cool ice cream? Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe Piggy does not like this flavor. Sharing a flavor Piggy does not like would be wrong. I will eat the ice cream. Wait, Piggy will like this flavor. It is very yummy. I will share my ice cream. It will not be easy. Hey, Piggy is not here. She does not know I have ice cream. I will eat the ice cream. Where is Piggy? What if she is sad somewhere? I must find her. When I do, I will say, would you like some of my ice cream? Then she will say, thank you, that would cheer me up. Then I will give her my ice cream to share. Yum. Then my best friend will be happy. I will do it. I will share my ice cream. See? Gone. No! Now Piggy cannot have any of my ice cream. Now I cannot have any of my ice cream. I blew it. You look sad. Would you like some of my ice cream? Thank you, that would cheer me up. Yum. Hmm, that was not my plan. Oh well, this works too. The end, and we always like to find the pigeon at my house. There he is in that ice cream. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Sometimes our plans don't work out and sometimes we have to share things even when it's not easy. So I hope that you remember that this week at your house. I hope you enjoyed this story. Good night, everyone. Mm -hmm.